Hello guys, Random Hobby Channel here. I hope your day is going extremely well. Today's video, what I have for you is a couple things. First off, my new buggies. Secondly, I'm going to be doing an update mainly on my new projects, the status of my homemade RC car, that sort of thing, etc. So starting off, I recently got these Helion Dominus 10 SCs, got them from a friend, I'm still waiting for them to find the controllers from, however this one here I was able to get up and running using some Traxxas parts I had lying around, I used my old receiver that came off my old slash, it's the same system I used on that homemade RC buggy a while ago. And so for these, I'm just going to be sharing my quick thoughts, design flaws, or what I like about them, that sort of thing. So starting off, the main thing, when I did research, because I never heard of Helion before I got these, everybody says the same thing, and I agree 100%. These, these covers are knockoffs of J-Concept covers. And once again, I completely agree, because... Right here, I happen to have one. This is a J Concepts body. And if we look, yeah, they're pretty much identical. And here's my advice if you're designing an RC car, you work for you know a company, you're trying to get your name out there. Make an original design and don't do something that's already been done. Because that's a good way to damage your reputation. Um, so yeah. But, <clears throat> other than that, these are pretty good cars. Again, this one I did get running. They run okay. They are brushed motors. They're both four-wheel drive. Which is very nice. Um, overall... Oh, almost dropped that. Sorry. Overall... I'm pretty impressed, especially because they have metal chassis. Um, a complaint I do have are the amount of screws they used. It's kind of ludicrous, and they used Phillips screws, which are not ideal. They always end up getting stripped. You always don't have the right head. You have to end up using a flat head. And for me, that was the case. And once again, the amount of screws they use is just crazy. This is the gear cover, okay? There's eight screws just holding that one plastic bit on. And that's the cover to the pinion and the spur gear. You don't need that many screws. You know, for me, I like to be able to look at the, the gearing quickly. You know, take the cover off quickly and see... If the spur gear is stripped, if I have to replace it or not. And eight screws, that's going to take a while. Even if you have, you know, a power a power drill. But, other than that, I don't have too many complaints about these cars. The bumper, it could use some dampening. And I say that because these are just solid bars. Solid plastic bars. You don't always want that because if you hit something, chances are... These beams are going to crack, they're going to break. And if you look at the bumper of this old slash 4x4, if I can get enough light in, if you notice there's that ring there. When I press it on this bumper, it compresses a little, and that helps dampen a blow if you happen to hit something, you know, like a curb or something. And... Your bumper actually is going to last much longer that way versus just having solid bars. So that is something that concerns me if I hit something. It is a little flimsy as well. But on the plus side, I do like the design of it. It looks cool. Suspension travel. Very nice. That's... I'm going to say that's about... Mm, Maybe two and a half inches of travel. Something like that. Maybe two inches. Shocks work alright. 
I I know these are the stock shocks as well. Um, I don't know if these are oil shocks. I think they are. When I put my ear up against these, I can't hear any fluid, so I assume they're not. If they are, they do need lubricant, which I do have. The battery port here, it can hold the 2S. So that's what I did since I had to put in my Traxxas ESC. Um, motors, they work okay. They are Helion brand. 21 turns, so they're on the slower side. Pretty torquey, though. When I did a test run on this, it, it glided through the grass just fine. And it was pretty tall grass, probably... Uh, I don't know, three or four inches tall grass, so, you know, it was up there, but this managed just fine. <clears throat> Once again, these are completely identical cars, just different covers. Yeah, overall, I like them. Not too many complaints, except for the ones I mentioned before. Again, I love the fact that these are metal chassis that's really good they even have a solid bar that goes across here drive shaft is a little bit thin that's okay though as long as it doesn't get brushed up against anything big or sharp it should be okay drive shafts i believe they are what they call dog bone they're not your typical UV joint. If I can get a good shot there. Yeah, I believe that's what they call them, dog bone. If not, please correct me down in the comments. But yeah. I like them. Only a few concerns or complaints for the designs. But other than that, they're decent cars. They run well. Motors, again, they can handle uh, your 2S LiPo, which is nice. Because when I first got them, this guy here, it came with your your average, you know, nickel cadmium, like 1300 milliamp battery, 1800 milliamp, some somewhere in that range, and that's on the on the low side. And I was able to use a a lipo battery which is nice servo servos are are okay they're on the slow side as well but you can always change that fairly easily but i think i'll just stick with the servos i have for now differentials are on smooth i think there's ball bearings in these i want to say there is i didn't do too much research on these And these are one tenth scale, so they're the same size as my Traxxas cars. So it's what I'm used to, which is nice. Tires are pretty much the same size, same standard bolts. But yeah, I like them. Anyway, now on to the update of what I've been doing in my homemade RC car. Well, <clears throat> When I looked at my slash two-wheel drive, because I know I mentioned that before, I decided the the receiver, instead of using it in a homemade RC car, I'm going to put it back into the two-wheel drive. And that's because I didn't realize how old it actually is. It's considered vintage, and you can't really find them anymore. So I'm going to try to restore my two-wheel drive slash back to its former glory. And I ordered time period correct parts for it. And just today I polished up the the body as much as I could. It's seen its fair use. So it does have cracks and wear in the body paint. But other than that, it's in okay shape. I'm of course I'm gonna use this. But yeah, I'm gonna restore it because 
it's you know a piece of RC history the the slash series it really did create a new you know series in RC you know it created sort of a new style and people people loved it you know it got big and that's why I want to restore it <clears throat> and I do have most of the chassis this piece I have to get a new one because it's broken and I also have to use you know the correct shocks because I believe these are not the correct shocks these must be aftermarket if I if I'm correct the the other half of the car I attached it to my slash 4x4 well my old slash 4x4 my other one is up there this was just a six wheel drive experiment I did a while ago. You can see I have another motor in there, as well as that motor in there. I connected them to the same system so I could use the same controller. Again, it was just an experiment. Pretty fun experiment though, but this piece obviously has to go to my two wheel drive when I start restoring it. <clears throat> um, back to the homemade RC car. Well, I'm still taking my time on it and I'm still taking a break because I definitely want to get that two wheel drive restored and I want to be able to display it somewhere if I find room. But yeah, that's what I have in mind. So yeah, I don't have much else to say. I didn't really plan this video today. I just decided to do it. So forgive me if I repeated anything or if I missed anything or if anything is off. I'm just doing this out of the blue today. But anyway, that's what I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please stay safe, Please stay safe out there. God bless.